Hi everyone, my name is Mercy. Welcome to my channel. I'm super excited for you to be here. I'm a third year medical student and I'm going to continue with the UWorld series, specifically talking about congenital infections and how you can differentiate them. So if you're ready to be able to differentiate between the congenital infections, keep on watching. And please do definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and follow me on my Instagram account, Mercy Medical. And uh, let's get started. It's super exciting. <laughs> to differentiate include CMV, toxoplasmosis, syphilis, and rubella. It's really important to be able to differentiate between them because they look very, very similar. They're going to have the growth uh, abnormality. They're going to have the blueberry muffin. So they, you think that blueberry muffin, actually in first aid, it specifies it to be in toxo and CMV, but you can essentially see it on all of them. And jaundice can be seen in most of them as well. You really need to remember the key phrases that are going to be seen in the specific one and I'm going to talk about them. Starting off with CMV. The one that's really important with CMV is the periventricular calcification. So these calcifications are going to be around the ventricle. So they'll give you an MRI with the calcification specifically around the ventricles. Then you have toxoplasmosis that also has calcification. It's going to be intracerebral calcification. So you really need to know the difference because they'll give you periventricular calcification and you're going to be like, oh, I know, I remember a calcification that's either seen in toxo and CMV but then you're going to pick CMV because you have bad luck no I'm kidding you don't you're gonna pick the right one remember periventricular with CMV CMV is gonna specifically have the calcifications around the ventricles with the toxoplasmosis it's gonna be intracerebral calcification and they're going to give you a vignette with something to do with meat uncooked meat Commonly, the cysts are going to be within that, and that's how we take it in, or cats. So it's not with the cat as much, so cat feces, um, more so with meat, so uncooked meat, toxoplasmosis. CMV is going to have someone that is immunocompromised. So CMV, remember, you don't really get infected with CMV. All of us have essentially CMV infection. However, we don't present it because our CD4 count is high enough that we won't really be affected by it. In syphilis, you have desquamating rash that are going to be in the palms and soles. So that's super important. So you have the specific rash, but another thing that's a giveaway and specifically for syphilis is a runny nose in the infant. So they'll have these snuffles, this runny nose, and they have desquamatic rash. You won't see that in the other congenital infections. So that's how you can differentiate it from the other ones, by these rash. And then rubella. Rubella is actually my favorite because I it really like stuck whenever I watch the sketchy micro for rubella. It like really stuck. So now every time like there's a question on rubella, I always get it right because of that sketchy micro. I love sketchy micro. So anyway, um, so cataracts. Cataracts is seen in rubella. You also have the PDA, so they'll have a murmur, and specifically it's machine-like murmur that they'll talk about. And the hearing loss. Remember, it's covering the ears and it's covering the eyes, so uh, indicating that there's cataracts and there's hearing loss. And specifically, it's going to be the sensorineural hearing loss. And normally, in normal infants, you can have the PDA murmur up to 24 hours and it'll be fine it'll be physiological so it just takes a bit of time to close it it should close right away but you can give them up to 24 hours and if it's past 24 hours and they still have the machine like murmur then it becomes uh, pathological so in rubella you have cataracts PDA uh, panoductus arteriosus and you have sensor neural hearing loss super easy right so that's it that's really it i feel like that was so simple right it was so simple but the thing is whenever you get the vignette and you're like okay this is a congenital infection which one is it which one is it you can just remember the key findings in each one of them then you'll be good keep repeating it and every time you see toxoplasmosis in like an answer choice be like oh specifically you have intracerebral calcification and then if you see a cmv oh you specifically have periventricular calcification even though they're not talking about it but you see it in an answer choice and it has you know you're just reviewing for the day and you're like oh well you know i'm not being timed i'm just gonna talk about like what is commonly seen in you or what you commonly present and you can say that out loud so i hope that was helpful let me know if you have any comments or concerns in the uh, comment section below and if you'd like to add anything to it i try to make the concepts very simple and so therefore i don't really go into extensive explanations uh, if 
there's any specific concepts that you would like me to talk about, please leave a comment down below and I'll go ahead and try to find a vignette um, if I can. Is there a way to even do that? But uh, yeah, just give me your thoughts, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>